Hello everyone, this is the Films of Busy Entertainment here with a movie review of this film, The Horror of Party Beach. Now, I remember watching this last night and thinking, I'm sure this is going to be good, but according to my dad, when I was watching with him, he was like, this is not good. And actually, I thought the same thing while I was watching it throughout, and you'll see why. The movie may seem like a ripoff of... Creature from the Black Lagoon because of the monster designs, but really they're just precursors of Night of the Living Dead. You'll see what I mean if you ever do watch the movie. But really the plot is about, um, as it claims to be, the first musical featuring monsters. Now that, uh, as absurd as it may sound, because there was another one at the time that, that I competed with. I can't mention the title because that title that I'm, I may try to refer to is way too long. In comparison to this movie's title. This movie's title is called. The Horror Party Beach. But the other movie's title that is, I'm not reviewing. is Has a really long title. I don't know how long the title is it's actually called. But I actually don't know if I should really uh, give it a mention. Because it's really not worth talking about. But anyway. The plot of course takes place at a beach. It was actually filmed in Connecticut. And uh. We are introduced to um, credits overruling the screen, which, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, in which we see a chase scene with the car claiming to have gone over 80 miles per hour, at least what I'm seeing throughout the film. And then we see um, this bicycle gang who apparently is chasing down this car. Then he goes to the beach, dance music, the Del Airs, who apparently wasn't so big later on. I, I, I'm not going to go into that, but you can go look, look at that up on your own. But And apparently, these zombies, like I said before, start popping up because of something. I don't know if it's worth mentioning. But this movie can come off as really bad because of the monster design. The monster presented in this poster isn't what it looks like. If I showed you, I don't know what it counts as a spoiler, but... And this video may show it again, so I'm not even sure how it's going to come off in your opinion. Like, there it goes again. So, anyway, I'm doing a voiceover for this, so I'm not even sure how, I'm, how well I'm doing this video. But, anyway... Okay, enough rambling. There's something else, some other things I want to tell you about in this movie that I found pretty absurd after watching the movie. One thing... Is that the monsters, well I'll just mention it anyway, the monsters actually have hot dogs in their mouth. That's one thing that's not a spoiler, it's just something goofy that I found in, in the movie that I always found ever since I first saw the movie itself. The monsters have weird things in their mouths, it's not what you think it is, they just look like pickles or hot dogs in their mouths. It's very absurd design, I know it was meant to be like some sort of comedic, and it's, it tends to be comedic sometimes, they're jokes, but they're very corny and they're very bad, honestly. Even my dad pointed that out when he was watching the movie, He, he's aware of it, I'm, I was almost not aware of it. And finally, there's this other thing I found really absurd, even with in it being a comedy. I found this one to be comedic because it was a very bad choice of casting. Both people, despite having different names, I'm pretty sure one of them was married to someone else at the time, due to them having a different last name than the other. Apparently, the two romantic leads are actually brother and sister, according to TV Tropes. Sorry for the shout out. It's very strange because why would that? Would the casting agency just do that despite having a low budget? Come on, you can do better than that. I mean, you don't have to do that. Okay, anyway, this movie's could be a fantastic parody, but I'm not even sure about um it being like a it's no masterpiece as the, as the director said, but I don't believe it being like a good movie it was enjoyable to watch if you look past all of its mistakes. But it's one thing I don't like is uh well because it was the times that were back then, all because there was just one character who was actually um. A servants in one of the characters' uh, houses, and they were black, by the way, and they were um, apparently a servant to one of the characters, and that really ticks me off a little bit, even though that was the Times. This was back in 1964, I'm pretty sure the same year that, um, I don't know which year it was, that 
that Martin Luther King Jr. has delivered his speech. I'm not even sure, but I just feel like it would still take me off even for, for the times. I'm not even going to go into it politically because this movie's meant... I know, I'm sure this movie is meant to be enjoyed as what it is. You're not supposed to look at it in a political sense. Why would you anyway? It's, it's just a very cheap, you know, movie with, with music and monsters. But anyway, that's just my comments on this movie. And if I gave it a rating, I'd probably give it like a 2 or 3 out of 5. Probably not that good, but I'm not even sure. Anyway, goodbye for all. For now. What am I talking about? Just, just goodbye, okay? Get here.